Well, good day. I just wanted to uh, relate to you some of the experiences I've had with this uh, Harbor Freight Stormcat 700 slash 900 uh, two cycle generator. And um, there's been a lot of talk about people changing spark plugs for better performance. And I uh, decided to dig into that and investigate a little bit more. Um, so I've done some tests on spark plugs. Um, to start with, this is the factory torch spark plug that was installed in it and this one it has green writing on it it's called torch f7 tc and it has a, a screw on terminal nut so this is screwed on and that's kind of staked but it's a little bit loose you know kind of shoddy construction i think um, and I, I suspect that this is a uh, i suspect that this is a counterfeit torch spark plug i know it's kind of hard to see the writing but this is green writing um, f7 tc and there's a lot of spark plug companies in China, and uh, this one is just kind of knocking out, you know, uh, was used probably because it's the low bidder or it's the, the relative of uh, someone who makes the generators or whatever. But it, I've ran this about two hours. doesn't seem so bad. I mean, you could see that there's a little uh, brown on the insulator, so it's not running too hot or too cold. Um, but um, this is the factory spark plug that came with it. I went out and I bought uh, some legitimate sport uh, torch spark plugs and this is the kind of package they come in and this one is an F6TC F6TC and uh, I ran this about two hours with various loads on it and you could see it has some uh, you know, brown on the ceramic insulator doesn't. It seems to be running fine, fine heat range, and the writing on this spark plug is in black, and it just says Torch F6 TC, and it has a fixed terminal nut. So this is just how this is manufactured. It's not a thread-on terminal nut; it's a fixed terminal nut. So I believe this is a legit Torch product. And I believe that this uh, F6TC is the correct heat range for this small generator. And then to start with, when I first got the generator, I used this NGK plug. It's uh, the BPR6ES is how this one is coded. And it's a legit NGK spark plug. I bought it at a farm and garden store here in the upper Midwest. And uh, this one has a little more soot on it, a little more brown soot. It's the correct heat range. And uh, this is the spark plug I was using when I uh, first started the generator ever and uh, got through the break-in period a little bit with this. But again, this one um, I got at the Farm and Garden Store. It's a legit NGK resistor plug. Um, but that's a little rundown on the plugs I've tried. And again, I, I'm suspect of the factory plug that's installed in here and I think it would behoove you or it would be good to get either an NGK or um, a legit torch or even a, even a champion. I think the champion is a N9YC is what would go in there but again this is the the legit torch. And then the other thing that happened is as I was fiddling around with the spark plug a lot you know the factory spark plug boot came off not a big deal because it's just had a spring in there that was kind of crimped into the wire. So I took another user's suggestion on YouTube and added this NGK. And this is a very nice spark plug cap. It's the NGK LB10E. And it comes in a kit. It's very easy to install in the wire. It has the rubber boots over it for insulation purposes. Um, and that's been a good upgrade as well. As well. So uh, that's all the news I have for you today. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about this generator, uh, go ahead and put it down below in the comments. Thank you.